the mini fish still the 26th and uh, this this is still up in my browser here from this morning a little short article I did this morning I wanted to get back to it but before I refresh it and get the original video back on here they just loaded up another video behind it on the uh, LA Times site here the the big one earthquake article and I want you to I started watching it it just started playing now you see how he's sticking his head out the hole in the door there that just reminded me so much of the the eye pet goat I just just listen to this just check this out right I don't even know what this uh, art uh, this is about but I want you to just listen for a second Yeah. Isn't that just weird? The sheep, and then the chicken sticks its head out the hole in the door. I just thought that was weird. So I got the original article back here. This is that video that uh, shows the Hoover Dam. I showed it this morning. Here's the Hoover Dam. You know, the earthquake, this, that, and the other thing. But what I did was I played it. A little more actually I watched the whole thing but this part right here right after they show the Hoover Dam and they show this like what's supposed to be an earthquake going off here obviously and you know I look at images that's just like what I do I, I see things in the images and the Holy Spirit just compels me to share them with you and a lot of times I can't explain exactly what they mean other than to demonstrate the depth of the wickedness that we're dealing with on this earth and that there is a way out of it. There's a way to not be consumed by this cannibalistic world that we just cannot eradicate evil from men, from the flesh. So I pull in this image because... I mean, I could see the stuff in it already, and it's just wild. And I want you to guys just to look. I didn't do anything. Just look with an open mind when I show you this stuff. And here's a still image from that video. All right. For one, it shows it as a large earthquake in the scale of how they show these on maps. And it's right off the East Coast, like right off of Florida you know, Georgia, South Carolina, right, right there. But look at these images and just understand that I see these things all the time. But this particular image has more dark, wicked imagery on it than I've seen in a while. And immediately I saw these figures right here. They're everywhere, but these two are like prominent and this is some sort of deity, and that's death. Whoever this is, is face to face with death. That could represent anyone. I don't know. I'm sorry I don't know, but I know that's death. And behind death is death. Look at this stuff. Look at the little demons and goblins and gargoyles and death everywhere. I mean, look at them. I mean, I could just take you around this image nice and slow and just show you it's everywhere. Just up ways, down ways, sideways. It's unbelievable. And I see this stuff all the time. This, this one has just tons of it. Look at all this. Even right under the target, that is the image. A smoke-covered image of a devil as is this over here they're everywhere and it so happens that this place is very unlikely never gets earthquakes ever in here and for whatever reason I just looked and right where this comes through is right where that eclipse comes right exactly over this area and I don't know why I even looked for that but the eclipse is important. It's a great sign. It's important to me too, you know? It's a, it's a sign in the heavens that I need to pay attention to as well. 
So whether these two things are related or not, I really couldn't tell you. But if you're so inclined, go through this little video and see for yourself. It's unbelievable. They put this article in front of the largest audience on Drudge that they possibly could. And they're saying something in this. I just know it. I don't know exactly what they're saying, you know. And I never chase these black holes of Illuminati stuff. But this is deeper. This is much deeper. When they're talking on an article about a California earthquake. I mean, that's what it's for. It's California earthquake, the big one. No matter how much you want to deny it. And it's illustrating that depth of wickedness. A wall of death and horror with demons swooping in and devils in it. Come on. This is, this is much more than just a simple article about an earthquake. This thing is long and it talks about human psychology pertaining to disasters. It has bizarre other imagery I haven't even touched. So this is important. I'll put links to everything as usual. And uh, peace and grace to y'all, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 